Hey, a friend, Chris here from MyLogic Pro Rules, the website and channel that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Today, I want to show you one of my favorite features ever in Logic, and that is that Logic Pro is always listening anytime you have a track primed and ready to record. This could be audio, it could be MIDI. In this case, we're going to talk about audio recordings and tracks. So I'm going to demonstrate with this region on screen, this vocal region that you can see. We see four moments of the vocals. And you would think based on the boundaries of the region, that's all we got. Just imagine that I started the recording at bar 28 and that's what I got. You'd think, well, there's probably nothing before that recording, right? Not so. If I hover my mouse over the left boundary of this audio region until my mouse turns into this bracket icon and I click and hold, lo and behold, there is so much more to this take than meets the eye. So if I drag it forward, obviously we have maybe some paper rustling, some mouth noises, nothing too exciting, but look at that. We have a whole other take of this first verse. That's amazing. Let me demonstrate to you as well, if I record myself with this channel strip and track called CV, you can see my voice is going through the channel strip. I'm gonna record myself doing my usual intro for my videos, but I'm gonna start playback first and then halfway through the intro, I'll hit record. Check it out. Hey, a friend, Chris here from Wide Logic Pro Rules, the website and channel that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. All right, so we can see that there's my performance right there. Seems like, Chris, you missed so much of the performance. What were you doing? Where were you when you were manning the computer and the DAW? We'll check it out. If I once again hover my mouse till I see this bracket icon and then click and hold, OMG, there's the rest of my performance. I didn't lose the take at all. And I want to demonstrate this to you one last time in a take folder because you can also peel back takes the left boundary inside take folders. So let's pop open this take folder for the vocals and navigate to take six right here. And it looks like, hey, we just have that one moment of take six, right? Do keep in mind, you'll either have to enable editing for the take folder or have quick swipe click zones enabled as I do here on screen. I'll include links to videos in the description below that'll walk you through click zones and how to get started with take folders. Once again, hover your mouse to the left boundary of a take till you see the bracket icon, click and hold, and then drag. We don't get that preemptive visual on screen, but look at that. There is so much more to this take that we can use. And it doesn't have to be in the middle of a take folder either. It could be the very beginning of the take folder. If you weren't familiar with this in Logic Pro, there are so many takes I imagine that are gonna be saved because of this video, just by dragging that left boundary inside a take folder or outside of a take folder. There's also a MIDI side to this when it comes to capture recording. That's a little too long for today's video, but I'll include a link in the description below to another video that'll walk you through that for MIDI performances. Thanks so much and I'll check you for more next week because I'm going out of town this week. But I'll check you for more next week. Take care.